President Joe Biden wants Americans to grasp the extraordinary stakes of this year's presidential election as he sees them. As part of that effort, he's revisiting some of the nation's worst traumas to highlight what can happen when hate is allowed to fester. On Monday, Biden heads to Charleston, South Carolina, to Mother Emanuel A.M.E. Church, the site of a 2015 racist massacre in which nine black churchgoers were shot to death during Bible study. The event comes after a blunt speech by the Democratic president on the eve of the anniversary of the January 6, 2021, riot at the U.S. Capitol, in which he excoriated former President Donald Trump for glorifying rather than condemning political violence. It's a grim way to kick off a presidential campaign, particularly for a man known for his unfailing optimism and belief that American achievements are limitless. But his campaign advisors and aides say it's necessary to lay out the stakes in unequivocal terms particularly after a few years without the cultural saturation of Trump's words and actions. And it's an effort to set up the contrast they hope will be paramount to voters in 2024.IT was June 17, 2015, when a 21-year-old white man walked into the church and, intending to ignite a race war, shot and killed nine black parishioners and wounded one more. Biden was vice president when he attended the memorial service in Charleston, where President Barack Obama famously sang Amazing Grace.